Hello everybody, welcome back. Sports Federation TV here and we look after sport in the Western Cape. Um, as I told you earlier on, we were speaking to the guys from um, Full Contact Kyokushin Kai Karate. They are off to Japan to go compete in the World Championships and we're lucky to have a number of athletes from the uh, Cape Town area on their way to go and to see what the world of Tokyo looks like, or at least the world of Japan in Tokyo as they compete there in the internationals. Joining me now on the show and to tell us more about Kyokushin Kai Karate, 8th Dan... Uh, Shan Kenny Aiton Bogart. Shan Kenny, welcome to Sport Federation TV. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks nice for having us. Nice to have you. Long overdue. We've had so many karate guys, part of the KSA structure on the show. So it's, uh, we're happy to have full contact here. Kyokushin Kai. Thank you. Glad to be here. And we're joining him, uh, Korne Furi. Korne, you is natuurlijk one of the fighters that you want to go. Full your right. Ek is so rechts as wat ek kan wees, ek dink. Alright, ons gaan gedeer in die show met jou gesels oor hoe jou oefening gegaan het, wat die type oefening jy gedoen het. So folks, before we go to the, uh, find out more about the Kyokushin side of things, we've got a little video, a couple of videos that the guys did at the at their dojo, and uh, we'll show you some of the, the highlights and interviews from that. Let's quickly take a look and see, behind the scenes, how does uh, Kyokushin Karate look? Right, folks, well, there you go. Full contact karate. You can see the training is... Shan Kenny, training there looks rather intense. A lot of bag work, a lot of power stuff, strong low kicks and punching. Combination of techniques. Uh, necessary, obviously, you can't go kicking in the certain individuals or students walking in the dojo. So we have to use the bag as part of our training. Yeah. Uh, very essential part of the training. So the bag work... And, and of course we do do body conditioning, which was not shown here, but the body conditioning is also very definitely part of the training. Speed is part of the training, uh, muscle definition is part of the training, uh, stamina, et cetera, et cetera. So every combination or every aspect of body conditioning, mind setting, mind control, et cetera, is practiced in a dojo, yes. So the, Kone, if, as ons net kyk na daar die oefening daar so, jy het nou paar maandig hard geoefen, like my, um, hoe dikvuls oefen jy nou in a week? Well, ek oefen on trend 3 tot 4 uur dag, 6 daar week, um, sonda vat ek gewoon ek af. So jy het 1 dag af in die week? Ja. So jy werk nogal hard, in termen van oefening, jy sê jy traint so 4 uur a dag. Ja. Nou, hoe survive jy, hoe koop jy met die, is dit speciaal eet, en jy moet natuurlijk uit, uh, jy moet die oor ophou, natuurlijk vir, vir beserings en so? Ja, ek probeer um, my best om uit gevaarspad te bly, maar die type sport wat ek doen, um, kyk er nie rarig daarvoor nie. Um, maar ja, dit is dit is tough is moeilik, um, maar ek geniet elke oomblik van dit en dit is my passie, dit is in my bloed. Baie mense vraag of my hoekom doen ek dit aan myself en ek kan ek het die rare geantwoord daarvoor, dit is net soos is jou passie. Ja. Sean Kenny, let's go back to you. Um Chukushin Karate has been around a long time now. Um it's, it's a the head of headquarters are in Japan, something like 12 million people around the world that are, that, that does Kyokushin. Um, how do you find, I mean, you've been around a long time now, 8th Dan, you're one of the highest ranked instructors in, in the world. 
Um, how do you value Kyokushin on an on a, on a international level and a national level? Um, first, let's go internationally. Internationally, just for uh, up update on stats, uh, the number that uh, in, in uh, 2014 was in excess of 14 million registered, officially registered membership for Kyokushin right. Karate. Uh, so we passed the, the 14 million mark. Uh, internationally, if one goes through the different countries, uh, we are significantly represented Kyokushin in so many different countries. In South Africa, we have officially registered, officially registered, 47,000 members. Right. And, and, and Kyokushin Karate is part of Karate South Africa, which is the, the only body for karate in South Africa. Uh, with we, Saskok. So you fall in line with, yeah. with KSA. Yes, let me give you some insight into that. Uh, it, it comes from our international um, interaction with the uh, Japanese Karate Federation and the World Karate Federation, where our organization was approached. And uh, as we know now that uh, the World Karate Federation ha has made its way and, and we must give a lot of credit to them, they are now officially on the next uh, Olympic list yeah. for consideration to be accepted as an Olympic sport. Now, that means a lot. Us being a full contact and the WKF practice a semi-contact, uh, we committed our organization, because of the size of our organization, we committed ourselves to assisting the WKF, the World Karate Federation, to achieve the recognition and to make sure that because the Olympics is going to be hosted in Japan that the karate fraternity is fully supportive of the uh, attempts to be recognized as an Olympic sport. So we have committed ourselves to that and in so doing we have aligned ourselves with that. Yeah. And it's in, in historically it's also the first time that a semi-contact and full contact organization have come to terms with each other after many, many years, and are, have the same objective. Right, folks, uh, we went out to the dojo, and we also spoke to some of the instructors uh, at the dojo. We managed to catch up with 5th um, Dan, um, Kyokushin Kai Shian, Mike Shuttleworth, who's busy teaching some of the students and are also getting now ready to uh, go to Japan to go compete in the World Champs. We have a team from this dojo of 13 people from South Africa, 19 people, and people are going to do kata, full contact fighting, and some people are even going to go and grad in Japan. The, the young school girls probably done 140 hours of training over the last four months. We've been training four or five times a week, hour, hour and a half every session. So I think they're pretty, pretty full of karate at the moment. You can actually see the last week or so they've been a little bit worn down, not really not the same spirit, so we'll give them a little bit of a break before we go. We leave on Tuesday and uh, we'll have a couple of light sessions in Japan and after that, it's showtime. Well, yeah, these girls, have, they've, they've done a short trip to Reunion, had a tournament in Reunion, and, but this is a really biggie. Uh, this is people from all over the world. Between 1,400 and 2,000 um, participants in various age categories, weight categories, but in any of their categories, there's going to be 30 plus uh, participants. Corner, you are naturally for in Aldo. So 2015, that you are the world champions, Kapo Khan. From what I know, for standing up, by afdelings and so, what can men se verwag as they na die competitie gaan? Well, da is by fighters meer obviously as wat ons aangewoond is in hierdie kant. Ja, ja. En um, um, sterk, sterk competitie, die, die mense is rarig baie goed. Um, die Japanese en die Russians is al, vooral die, is hulle die, sterkste? die mense met wie jy moet reken, ja. skap hou. En um, ja, so ons sal maar kyk as ons daar is. Of weet jy al enige gedagtes oor jou eerste paar fights wat jy gaan hee, weet jy, oh, uh, hoe, wat verwacht jy? Um, ek weet die, my eerste fight wat ek gaan hees sal uh, ten die Mongolian um, meisie wees. Um, so, ek, ek hoop maar 
ek krijg ek kan ek kan nie op hierdie stadium sê wat gaan gebeur nie. Ja, nee, nee. Ek hoop om. Is jy is jy um, opgewonde? Is jy reg? Voel jy voel jy reg en sterk? Ek ek voel reg. Ek voel baie ek voel, ek dink ek is in die beste kondisie as wat ek nog ooit was. Ja. Um, ek het hard geoefen en baie ingesit, baie effort ingesit so ons hoop vir die beste. Ek moet sê ek hou baie van julle sweatpakke daar so die 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 Suid-Afrikaanse sweatpakke. Dit lyk baie fancy. Ek jy een paar mense wat kan leer hoe om sweatpakke te maak, al sal dan na julle sweatpakke kyk. Right folks, we also stuck around in the dojo and then we managed to speak to fifth dan Sean Jason Dawes. He's uh, one of the senior coaches in South Africa and he tells us a little bit more about the expectations for these athletes as they head off to Tokyo. It's one of the biggest martial arts tournaments of its kind in the world. Uh, they're expecting between 1,400 to 2,000 participants. And that spans like the premier event, which is the which band weight category tournament, which includes foreigners, and the women's world tournament, which is also in weight categories. And then you go down to the, the juniors from five years old to 17 years old in different weight categories, as well as the, well, the old men, the veterans, you know, also in age and weight categories. And then there's the, the kata, which is also divided into the junior and senior division. Yeah. Every junior who comes here to the tournament is a champion in their home country. So it's just you know, a fight amongst champions. And you can imagine how everybody's prepared, physically prepared, mentally prepared. And it's tough to, to do well over there. Yeah, we've got some promising people coming from here. I mean, we're looking at our juniors uh, with an eye to what they can do in two, three years time once they pick up that experience, which is, is vital. I mean, when you go over there, everything's new. Everything's different. I mean, you don't recognize any of the words, you don't recognize any of the signs, there's just buildings everywhere. Uh, the food is totally different from what you're used to, although you can probably find KFC there. Not that we can eat that. And uh, before the tournament, we'll just be prepping for the tournament. So we won't be doing a lot of sightseeing. Afterwards, once everybody's you know, relaxed, uh, we'll take them to see the sights and show them a little bit about the culture of Japan. Oh, welcome back, folks. Yeah, uh, Sean, Jason, Dawes. Um, Sean, Kenny, Aiden, Bogard, 8th Dan. Um, give us a quick idea. Uh, how does one get to be an 8th Dan? <laughs> Is it some? It sounds to be like something that uh, well, not your average guy on the street walks away with an 8th Dan. Um, to get to 8th Dan, first of all, to, to progress from a beginner. Yeah. Um, you start as a beginner, dependent on the age you start. So you're eighth Dan. You must have started a long time ago. In 1965. Right. So you've you've done a few hours. Janu- January 1965. Yep. Uh, so a lot of time put in, um, a lot of hard work. Yeah. Um, having obviously to along the way, you start finding yourself in terms of uh, as as a student. As a student, you don't know what's going on. Your instructor is telling you to do this, to do that. You just say yep or us. And, and you do what you're told. There, there's no understanding or anything like that. And the instructor will repeat maybe a hundred times that you must do this, you must do that. And you keep on shouting, us. And then one day you come and you go to the instructor and you say, you know that if you do this and this, that is going to happen. And the instructor looks at you and says, but I've been telling you that over and over. <laughs> is that what karate is about? Is it's about uh, Repetition, really? repetition, and, and just not getting that student on the on the floor is is communicating with you but not maybe understanding fully yeah. and and so you go through the different stages like you would in any uh, growing up stage and as you grow with karate so you become to understand it better and so but your your recognition goes with that but 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 the, the the practice of karate is a physical practice but there seems to be that uh, through that hard physical practice you get to learn a little bit more about yourself as an individual. It, it's always about learning about yourself. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's, it comes to you first. Uh, you, you're on the f- doesn't matter what you're doing, um, what exercise you're doing, what uh, techniques you're doing, what kata you're doing, what you're doing. But once you're on the floor, you, you, you're part of, of a process. And as you g- move along with that process, so you find out more about yourself, more about your, nat- your body, more about what you can do, more, more about everything around you. And so you become a lot more acute with, with understanding uh, surroundings and, and people, etc. Open above, above just, just doing, doing techniques. It's what you are doing to actually benefit 
others. Contribute back to society. What are you benefiting back to your community, back to your students, and you as a person? They they have a they they really do assess your character and your presence, what kind of person you are, and from seventh dan, from after you've graded six dan. You may grade on the floor, do whatever, and demonstrate whatever. But then from there on, you get graded according to again what your contribution is and what you mean to the organisation. Wat jij van die kinders zal voorstel om karate te doen, kyokus en karate? Definitief, definitief. Um, ik denk dat jij leer um, zoveel discipline in de taalmens. Ik weet dat je moeder de taalmens het moeilijkheid heeft. Ja, is dat ook om jij dit te doen om jou in de moeilijkheid te houden? Nee, ik was biased. Je was biased. Beste koning, ons gaan het daar zo nou los. Um, beste vlak voor voor die trip. Ik weet je nou verschrikkelijk hard geoefend. Uh, Zoals we gezien hebben in die video, die Chokus en Karate is een tough sport. Jullie moeten hard oefenen voor het. Um, dus nou wereldkampioenschap tijd. So, ja, good luck en hopelijk kom je terug met een paar medailles voor voor Zuid-Afrika. Bye, thank you. Shan Kenny, um, just on a final note then. Um, you've got a nice team contingent going across. A um, number of uh, athletes from up country and some Cape Town guys. Um, uh, they're going to be up against some tough competition, though. Uh, the number of countries that are participating at, at this uh, tournament uh, obviously is enough to be concerned about. Uh, never mind uh, the the countries that that one has to uh, to be wary of. Do they? What do they think of the South African? Are they scared of the South African guys? Well. Everybody's scared of everybody. <laughs> uh, when you come there, if you're not scared, then there's something wrong with yeah. you. You really are scared. It's uh, it is overwhelming. The, yeah. the the setup, the number of people participating over the days that you are there, and it's a great opportunity for every sports person to get to know another sports person from another country, and that's what it's about. John Kenny, thanks for joining us here. I know that you've got your hands full and you're very busy. To both of you, uh, thanks for joining us, and we look forward to to seeing your progress and good luck in Japan. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Kone, danke en welkom. Well, as I say, good luck for for Japan. Bye, danke. Right, folks. Uh, sport Federation TV. We talk about sport in the Western Cape. Of course, uh, all the federations that are aligned to the SASCOC structure, into the provincial structure, then into the districts. And uh, Karate South Africa is, of course, the umbrella, not umbrella body, but the the mother body for Karate in South Africa and Kyokushin Kai. Um, IKO organization falls in as part of Karate South Africa. If you want to win yourself a case of bash shoes, they've been around since 1899, then all you need to do is SMS the word bash shoes to 33090. We mentioned this earlier on, 33090, and congratulations to last week's winner, Abdul Isaacs. Abdul walks away with a case of bash shoes. Abdul, somebody from uh, Federation TV is going to get a hold of you uh, shortly. That's a wrap from me. I'm in for Lenyukta Chetty. We'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Have a fantastic sporting weekend. Bye-bye.